on Asia, like whoever it is here present, it's going to be really helpful for them. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. I hope everybody have understand it. And I'm sorry that I took some little no, more time. No, no, no problem. It was amazing okay. session. And okay. first of all, I'm sorry to Miss Kay Hesse. Assalamu alaikum. And I'm so sorry that uh, you have to wait for it. And because session was so interesting, so we didn't like to interrupt our speaker. So let's congratulate and invite all our second speaker, Ms. Kay Hesse. She's a national intern. She has been doing uh, the master's in, in management technology and uh, in Munich University, one of the greatest universities in German. And she, her specialization is innovation, entrepreneurship, technology, computer science, you know, all these things that are innovative are basically her specialization. So I was so glad to have her like uh, her interest match with my personal interest as well. So I was so glad to have her and excited. So Miss Kay Hesse, it's an honor to have you on board. Thank you. Thanks a lot for the very amazing presentation, I must say. And um, thanks also for to the previous speaker. He also helped me a bit with the slides. We were communicating together. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy to be here and I hope to answer most of the questions of the students and maybe to inspire and motivate you to really apply and why you should um, and just show you this part of uh, TUM and Munich that I've experienced in the past three years. Uh, so I'm going to share my screen. Yeah, over to you. You can see it, right? Yeah, we can see it. It's okay. Visible. Thank you. Um, so I was already presented, but just a short summary. I'm studying management technology now for masters. Okay, ma'am, sorry for interesting. Your camera is off, I think. Yes, your video. Okay, so it's, uh, let me check. Okay, to me, Chase says that I can only screen share or um, keep the camera on. I can't do both somehow. Would that oh, okay. be fine? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Um, if Herson can check, Herson, are you here? Can you please check if she, you can allow her to open our camera? Uh. Ms. Kehesi is also a yes. presenter. She can turn on her camera. I don't know why she's facing this program. Okay, let me try again. But now it's, again, I am not visible. Hmm. Interesting. But if it's fine, I can, I will continue. Yeah, yeah, no problem. We would like to hear you and you can open the camera at the end. We just, just want to hear you and, you know, get excited about it. We are excited about it. So it's completely fine. Technical issues are always there. You can go ahead. Awesome. Thank you. Um, so as I mentioned, I've been studying masters for the past three years. Um, why three years? I can explain it to, it, to you later. Uh, with management, with uh, specialization in management in entrepreneurship and innovation, and specialization technology in informatics or differently said computer science. Before that, I studied bachelor's in business informatics in my hometown in Albania. So I'm also an international student here in Germany. At the same time, now I am um, following a honors degree program in technology management by CDTM. I will explain about that also later. And I'm also working as a working student um, at Unternamatum, which is considered to be the biggest entrepreneurship and business creation center in Europe. Why uh, Technical University of Munich? Uh, Technical University of Munich is known for its uh, excellency and it is awarded like an excellent university by um, Germany. 
It's an entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial university and it's known for student initiatives and also for its exchange programs. So TUM is ranked in top 50 universities in the world. It from year to year, it always changes uh, 45th or 50th in the world and also uh, top three in Europe or Europe Union, let's say. Last year, it was the news that uh, because of Brexit, it was even the first uh, university in the European Union. But also this ranking, you should keep in mind that it changes according to whether it is a ranking for the whole university or for a specific field like technology or business, etc. Anyway, it is the best university in Germany and one of the best in Europe and also in the world. Um, its researchers and alumni include 16 Nobel laureates and 22 winners of Leibniz Prize, which is an award given from Germany to researchers. It also has six campuses in Munich, Garching, Freising, Heilbronn, Straubing and Singapore. Um, it's very, very huge university. I have only been to the campuses in Munich in Garching because that's um, where my classes um, take place. And it's really so huge already, only these two campuses, and I can't imagine how big it is if all these six campuses would be in one place. The Entrepreneurial University. Uh, this year, um, TUM or TUM is really focusing in entrepreneurship. Um, it's, it has its own entrepreneurship institute where you can research different topics that are related to entrepreneurship. Um, and how to create your own business, how to um, solve problems existing in the society. So this is the main focus of TUM. And it also offers a TUM entrepreneurial masterclass, which, which means that you can take uh, your master thesis in a topic you are really passionate about in entrepreneurship. So whether even if you have your own business or startup, you can write a master thesis about the topic. This is something that TUM um, has been allowing for the last two years. Also, the um, Untrenematum um, is a collaborator where I actually work. It collaborates with TUM and it offers courses in the field of innovation, entrepreneurship, which are practical courses. So one thing that I really like about TUM is that you don't have only these theoretical courses where you memorize and uh, have exams at the end, but there are a lot of courses that are more interactive where you work in teams with other students of different uh, cultures and also nationalities. And also you have access to makerspace, uh, which is um, a space where you can uh, take lessons on 3D printing, laser cutting and other hardware related skills that you can learn and practice. And why not if you decide to have your own business or build a product, you can do it there. From TUM, there have come three unicorns, so three startups that are valued at one billion dollar or more and many other startups. So this is why TUM is considered as an entrepreneurial university, because a lot of students are realizing that they can have a bigger impact by founding their own company and by solving a problem that exists in the world. So if you're passionate about this topic, this is the university to go to. There are a lot of student initiatives. Um, Students of TUM are known to be ambitious and hard worker and really smart. And they, the university gives them the freedom to have their own initiatives and even to help them. They are different. I have mentioned some of them only, but there are way more. You can simply search TUM students initiatives and check. Um, some of them are, if you want to go more into consultancy, you can join Academy Consult which is a student management consultancy. There is Start Munich Student Club, if you are more interested in entrepreneurship and startups. Toon Business Game, uh, where on a weekend you work with other students and solve four challenges from consultant companies, which can be 
uh, KPMG, McKinsey, Lufthansa, etc. There is TEDx2. I think we are all familiar with uh, TED Talks and how inspiring and wonderful ideas that are shared there. And this you can also, you have it at TUM and you can contribute as an organizer. There is TUM Hyperloop, um, a very interesting team which got together. Um, there were business people, engineers, and other uh, students who were welcome in order to develop a full scale tra trans transportation system. And they won two years ago, if I'm not mistaken, the competition by Elon Musk for the fastest uh, train. And this year, Tomb Boring built the fastest tunnel. Um, again, a, co a competition by Elon Musk. So I think every competition by Elon Musk in the past five years is being won by TUM students. Because as I said, when you bring smart minds together, international uh, students that have different way of thinking and looking at um, the matter, like different perspectives, then very interesting and good things come out of it. TUM offers a lot of exchange programs. Also, I just came from one exchange program in Israel. Uh, you have TUM exchange where you can go not only in Europe, but also US, um, Latin America, Africa, Asia, um, Canada, wherever you want, basically. Um, they have a lot of partnerships. You have TUM SOMEX, which includes also Erasmus Plus funds, and it is more focused in Europe, but also Russia or Singapore or um, Israel. Uh, you have joint international programs. So if you are interested in double degrees, there are some options there. There are double degrees with um, Copenhagen or with Singapore, with France. And it also offers Athens, which is a one week um, study, but also traveling experience within Europe. And you can always go as a free mover and you will find the support of the university. And I really recommend it um, if you do a master or a bachelor in TUM to do a, a semester abroad, because it's really an experience that will have a great impact in you. I think it, uh, it was already uh, explained very well about scholarships from the previous speakers. Um, and I've also mentioned some that he mentioned. Uh, we have that. Personally, I have not applied when I started my studies. I did not apply for any scholarship um, because I was in a time pressure. However, I do recommend it to look at scholarships even before or during application because even though if you have not been accepted for uh, studying a TUM, you can still apply for scholarships. Um, there is scholarship um, from TUM. You have DAD, a friend of mine has DAD. Um, Deutschland Stipendium, you can apply for it every semester or every year, I'm not sure. Hans Seidel Stiftung Stipendium, it's also a really good um, scholarship, which I know friends from, but I, I'm not part of it. I'm part of the Hans Rudolf Stiftung Stipendium. It's a private um, scholarship and everyone can apply. It, it happens every application, it is every July. Um, then there are also a lot of programs which you can participate in because I believe that um, to be a great student, it, it's not important only to be great at studying and to have good um, GPA, but also to be involved in um, student initiatives or everything that makes you get out of your comfort zone and learn more and grow as a person. Uh, my favorite um, programs are Manage More, which is a leadership and entrepreneurship program. However, German B2 level is required. There you learn about design thinking, agile methodologies, strategies, how to work in teams, how to be a good leader, etc. And CDTM, uh, which is Center for Digital Technology and Management. Uh, this is a honors degree program, which I joined last year. It is an, a joint institu institution from LMU and TUM, the two main universities in Munich. And this 
um, honors degree is part of the elite network of Bavaria. It is a really good program to enter and also very difficult to enter as um, they try to choose uh, students that are outstanding in not only um, school results, but also in what they do and exchanges or experiences that they have um, had before. Uh, and during this uh, program, you can learn more about research or consultancy, entrepreneurship also. The two biggest unicorns um, in Munich, they came from students who were also part of CDTM besides uh, TUM. There's Digital Product School. If you want to learn more about uh, digital tools you can use in working in a team, it is a one semester program and it offers you a scholarship of 700, 500 euros. So you only do that and do not work on the side. And you also have um, Social Entrepreneurship Academy where you learn more about social entrepreneurship. Of course, there are way more than these options I have written here. Um, but these are the ones that are more familiar um, and um, yes, the ones that I know the best, I would say, and that I like the most. So job opportunities, um, you can find jobs in Munich when it comes also as a working student, so as a part-time um, employee and also as a full-time employee. We have a quote that we say often that it is that it is easier to find a job in Munich than a flat to rent. Uh, there are a lot, a lot of opportunities for uh, working student uh, positions. At least this is what I'm more familiar with as I'm not working as full-time employee. And I would recommend to you to do have a um, working uh, um, student job as Munich can be very expensive. And if you do not have a scholarship, then your only possibility or option is to have a job on the side. Is it possible to do a job on the side and studies? Um, yes, of course, a lot of students do that. Um, actually, most of the students that I know do that. And it's also a good opportunity for you to get to know the working environment here in Germany. And why not build connections and network so you will have it easier to have later on a full-time job. And also, as I mentioned before, I'm doing my, I finished my third year in master's and I'm entering my fourth. Um, as in Germany, finishing your master's, whether you finish it in two years or, th or three years or four years, it does not matter much if you have experiences in between. So I come from a country that it is important to like finish um, bachelor in the time that is set, then to finish master directly. Um, after bachelor you start it and then you finish it in two years and then you look for a job. So it's very fixed and set. While in Germany, you will see that most of the students um, will be 24 years old, 25, um, and when I entered my master's, I was 21, one of the youngest, and people were surprised because, as I said, they either extend their studies or take time in between um, their study degrees. So extending your studies uh, is nothing wrong about it, and I would even recommend if you're doing a part-time job, because if you work 20 hours per week and studying, um, it can be quite difficult to finish it within two years. Um, as a full-time employee, there are opportunities. Um, I've heard that it is more difficult than a working student, um, but I believe that um, if you have enough experience and if you keep applying, you will find um, a job. And especially if you are a working student somewhere, the chances that the company keeps you in the long term as a full-time employee are even higher. So in Munich, you can find all kinds of companies. Uh, you can find the big corporates, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, IBM, BMW, SAP, Siemens, Lufthansa, and many more. So if you are more of the corporate person, you can find a lot of possibilities uh, for jobs. 
uh, some companies like Google or Amazon are more difficult to join than the others, but there is a huge variety you can choose from. There are consulting firms, if you are more into accounting or management consulting, McKinsey, KPMG, Deloitte, etc. All big four are here in Munich. And if you really feel like this is your calling in life, you can join them. We have also small and medium enterprises and startups. I believe that it is easy to find a job in Munich as the, Munich is now the second uh, biggest uh, startup hub city in Germany. And there are a lot of startups that are getting created um, and that get successful. So these startups are looking for talented people. And it's always, even during Corona um, or COVID pandemic, there was always job opportunities from the startups because they are looking for talents to get in their um, team. So I would never be worried that you finish graduating at two and you won't be able to find any job anywhere. Life in Munich. Um, I personally love Munich. Um, the positives uh, about Munich is that it offers a lot to see and to do. Munich has, uh, and the surroundings has a really beautiful nature. You can do hiking, skiing, ice skating, biking. The university also offers um, discounts or memberships if you want to do sports and to learn different sports. You can also from Munich go easily to the cities that are nearby or even to count countries. You can go to Italy for three, four hour, hours. You can go to Paris for eight hours, um, to Prague for five hours. So you can travel the whole Europe. Uh, what I also like a lot is a great entrepreneurship ecosystem, as I am passionate about this topic. Um, the people here are very friendly and they do speak English, so you can get um, very well along by speaking English. And it's famous for Oktoberfest, the beer um, festival where a lot of millions of tourists come every year. Unfortunately, due to COVID, it did not happen. Um, but people here really enjoy life from time to time. Uh, and you will see that, especially when there are sunny days. Negatives is that a Munich can be expensive. And if you do not have financial support, a scholarship or a job, it can get really expensive. And it's also difficult to find an apartment. Um, I personally have changed a lot of um, flats during my three years period. And I know that from other friends also that it's quite difficult to find exactly the flat that you want in location you want and also with a good price because the prices of rent could go, could go up to 800 euros however if you stay in a dorm it is from 250 till 380 so it's way cheaper and yes it can be a bit demanding and um, um, difficult to find an apartment because you need to send a lot of emails but it's not impossible everyone that comes here at the end is a little bit um, stressed because they can't find a place to stay but after a few weeks you will find for sure a place to stay but it can be a stressful um, situation my bonus tip is to learn german and uh, as i said you can easily live and work here without knowing german okay maybe not that easily but you can do it however um, there are way more opportunities as a German speakers. Some scholarships are only for German speaking students. Some lecturers are only for German speaking students. Some jobs require you to have German. Otherwise, you will have to work in more international companies. And also, it's easier to make friends, especially German friends, and to integrate in the society if you learn German. So if you can to learn, uh, um, I would recommend and advise you to learn some German before actually starting um, or before coming to TUM. But also at TUM you have um, courses and you can learn German uh, through different courses uh, that TUM offers for free. So why not also take that as a possibility? 
And yes, um, if you want to know more, I've written a full guideline on, on studying a tool, how to keep a good GPA, um, how to like uh, to choose uh, courses, etc. It's more related to my degree, management technology. However, um, there are also general advices, and it is a long. Um, article so if you want to know more information i'd also recommend you to to read it so yeah thank you very much this is the presentation and uh, i would like to wait i'm going to open my camera now and i would like to know if there are some questions So all of you are requested to write down your questions in the chat box and I'll read it out for you guys. But if you want to ask individually, you can ask two of us. Make sure to write it down so that everyone can uh, get it and we can answer it. Uh, we have some questions uh, from our candidate guests. The first question. Yes. From Nimra. She is asking that if the tuition fees is zero, what do we need for the scholarship? Uh, if the two uh, again, if the two tuition fee is zero, why do we need the scholarship? Or yeah. Okay. Um, I can take this one um, because the living costs are so expensive the rent as i mentioned could go up to 700 800 euros per month and also if you take into consideration um, the cost of food and if you want to do some activities health insurance public transportation this easily add up so the scholarship is not there to help you only with the tuition fee but also uh, with your living cost if more of it, you have some more, um, some other opinion, you can also say something. Yeah, uh, this is exactly what is it. Uh, I just want to say just like uh, normally you have around 861 euros in your account if you want to spend money and usually you will get it through scholarship. So you have the amount in your bank account and you can do anything. You don't need to work here. So it's for that purpose uh, i hope numero got his answer the next question is from mehubu will you discuss issues regarding new commerce newcomers at tum term who wants to go <laughs> he, he can start i can add up i'll add up okay so um for newcomers, as I mentioned, finding an apartment can be a challenging time. It took me three weeks to find one. Um, I don't know about you, <laughs> uh, but yes, it takes a while and it can be challenging. Besides that, I think in the beginning, as in general, moving to a new place, you need to, to get used with everything. Um, I don't know, public transportation. I come from a country where there are not even trains. Um, so getting used to that, also opening um, a bank account, you will see that in Germany, everything works with paper based. So you need to send e emails. Um, I'd never used post uh, before, but here in Germany, I'm using it quite often and um, having your opening an insurance and just these little things that are just in the beginning and after that everything gets back to normal it becomes part of your life so it's just this little uh, to do's in the beginning also registering your house at the residency here taking your residency card once your visa is over uh, but once you do this for the first time then it's, it's just part of your life. And when you have to do them the next time, it's just very easy. OK, uh, yeah, I just want to add one thing uh, regarding TUM. Uh, the good thing about TUM is for uh, if, you, if you are studying any course, any subject, uh, you don't have any midterms, you don't have any uh, projects, any assignments. 
you just need to have one exam at the end of the semester. Uh, for the whole semester, you just need to study or do whatever you want, but you only need to give the final exam. <laughs> the bad thing about the exam is uh, they are quite lengthy and more in the most exams, we only have around 60 minutes to 90 minutes maximum. So back, uh, back in my country, we used to have three hours exams, but here you can have one and a one and a half hour exam and they are quite lengthy so you need to be super fast to complete your exams so this is the good and the bad but uh good thing is tum has a lot of opportunities as a guy already discussed so these things i i believe doesn't matter so okay. there are so questions so regarding so uh, may i ask do you have any uh, Harshan, may I ask a question? Because there are so many questions regarding bank of statement. Because they are asking if we have to show some amount, like um, Zishan told us that you have to show a certain amount in your bank, uh, that you have that certain amount. So they are asking that if we have a scholarship, if we applied for scholarships, can we still, uh, do we still have to have that uh, block in our bank account in Another thing that is asked related to it that if uh, we have someone in Germany who is living there, so do we still have to have that block of amount? Okay, um, let me answer it. Uh, number one thing, as I already discussed, uh, if you have a scholarship, then you don't need to show your block account. Uh, the money you need is for block account. So for example, for example, if you have a scholarship, a fully funded scholarship, and they are giving you 861 euros per month, then you don't need to show your bank statement. You don't need to show your block amount. You don't need to show anything. You just need to show uh, that scholarship document that you have the amount. Basically, they want that you must have the amount in your account. And the second question you have asked that if someone is living in Germany, <laughs> so I would highly, highly recommend. Uh, 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 it's 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 uh, something like uh, if you're coming to Germany, the main motive of your is to study here. You just come here for a student visa. You complete your studies and you go back uh, to your country. The, the visa officer, they want you to do this, uh, although they know <laughs> that you go and you're not going, you're not coming back again, whatever the reason is. But uh, during your visa interview, you don't need to show that you have any blood relatives or uh, any other specific person living in Germany so that they might think that you might slip and you just go and you will just go there and you will be there. So uh, is there, it is a possibility that someone can sponsor you from Germany, but there are other documents required for this. There are some small documents. I'll discuss it personally, but it is possible uh, that someone can sponsor you from Germany and uh, and if the visa officer will ask you that you have your relative in Germany, so you don't need to tell them that, yeah, they are, uh, you cannot do anything, but you will come back after completing your master. You are not going to stay. You are going to coming back and you are going to serve your country. So keep this point in your mind. I hope this is clear. Awesome. Uh, then uh, there is our questions coming in again and again. So there is a question that uh, is recently asked that uh, it's Zishan, as you mentioned, that it is better to get admission in top ranked universities. But what if we don't get have the desired programs in those top universities? Uh, so then we will have to look in other public universities that have zero TCP basically, but their ranking is pretty low. Other public universities ranking is pretty low, like they even ranked above hundred in Germany and that scenario what shall one do it's from a fan uh, Kai you want to answer this uh, yeah it is it matter 
the ranking of Germany from job perspective. Hmm. What I well, believe is the skill set. Yeah, the skill set, but also when you have to, it does make a differentiation in your CV. Um, in my opinion. But yes, if you have the skill and if you can prove that you can do the job, then you will find a job. I do not, I mean, Germany is now really trying to get as many people as possible because they really are lacking labor force. Um, and this is in every kind of fields, medicine a lot, but also technology, business everywhere. Um, they really are looking for people to join. So it, at the end, if you can do the job and you have the skills, I believe that you will find something for sure. Uh, yeah, there, there are uh, alternatives for everything. So if you don't get admission, then you must have the skill set. Basically, uh, in every job description, uh, everything is clearly mentioned. So if you if your profile is matching that job description, so there are high chances of uh, getting interviewed for that particular job. So I think yeah, Tom makes difference. But if you don't get admission at TMM, then you must have the skill set. You need to make your profile during your master's degree. You just need to check on LinkedIn the the different job descriptions and start doing things. Start doing certifications, some projects, online projects, any tools which are required by different companies. You need to learn that particular tools so that uh, they this this will match your uh, profile and you will be able to get the job. So that uh, so that means you need to work a little extra hard than you normally the uh, students in bigger university do. You need to have uh, you work to get things done and get the skill set by yourself to be able to like match with the university with the students of bigger universities, right? <sighs> yeah, but not really. Students of bigger universities, they, they they are already doing the hard work. Their university tends them to do the hard work. So uh, you need to do everything. Yes, you need to do, put a little more ex, uh, uh, you know, extra effort in that. OK, so another question is at least how many universities you should apply to be on the safe side? Like how many? <laughs> uh, basically, uh, let me answer this. Uh, uh, first, uh, just uh, keep this in your mind that you have the proper mindset. You know where are you going? you know the field you want to pursue in future. So just first uh, do this. It, it's a hard thing, hard thing to do, but when you know your field, your future, and then just start applying. If there are 100 universities, they are offering this particular program. You need to apply in those 100 universities and 1,000 universities, but you must know your future. You must know the way uh, in which you want to excel. Oh. And if you don't know, but because it might happen that you might not know exactly. For me, for example, I I studied business informatics and I was looking for something similar that was offered in English. And by chance, I found a tool that was management technology. And my main, like there are two goals, I think, um, or more why you want to do a thesis, um, master, sorry, abroad. It's because you want to leave your country and you want to experience in your country. You want to do it for the university. You want to do it for the degree. So you need to prioritize what is your uh, why? Why do you want to go outside of the country? For me, it was um, I wanted to study abroad and then I found out about TUM and that was the only university that I applied. Um, but the main reason was that I just wanted to go abroad and it didn't matter much where. And since I found a topic which was quite similar to mine, I chose it. And then a lot of opportunities open up from there. So it's fine also if you are not sure exactly where you see yourself in the next five years. Um, because I think um, it's quite a lot of... Um, 
of thought and quite a lot of uh, pressure. So it's also another way to see it is to just choose why you want to do it and prioritize it differently. Okay, amazing. So there is another question in there. There are so many questions because it was so interactive that there are so many questions that, okay, so another question is, that for example uh, we have um, we want to apply in like uh, you we are basically talking about engineering and technology so people are asking that whether it's in universities in germany only offered this program or only focus for this particular technology and entrepreneurship or we can apply to different program as well so uh, although you have elaborated on that but i would still like you to answer that question so I didn't fully understand it. Can you please repeat the question? That uh, it is in, in, for example, in engineering, there, there are courses in uh, universities and it's famous for it. So if uh, uh, there are other courses, other fields, other, uh, uh, other fields also blooming in uh, Germany or is Germany also famous for other fields? Can we apply for different programs in Germany as well? Ah, yeah, yeah, definitely. I was just presenting um, what I am studying, but um, in Germany, what I can say currently is a lot also medicine and digital healthcare. On the safe side, everything re related to technology, informatics, engineering, um, I think it's required. Difficult topics could be, I don't know, if you want to study uh, philosophy, psychology, it's even difficult to get in, uh, but these topics that are more social, um, but if you go for topics that are more into the engineering, uh, mathematics, um, business, I think you will always have um, like the possibility. And I think it's, it's the best place to do it in Germany because it's known for um, innovation, for technology, even though it is a bit slow in adapting it in the government, but uh, I think they are working on it. Yeah, I think there are a, a lot of opportunities in each and every field in Germany. So you don't need to worry about if you don't get admission in any of the, in any of the specific field. There is a lot of room in the future, I believe. Okay. Thank you so much. So that next question is mine, that as being a girl, how safe is it in Germany? Like uh, if you are going alone, so you need to measure that how safe it is for the girls or if you're going alone as a student, so how safe it is. So I would like to ask as a girl, your perspective, how safe do you think is Germany? Your personal experience. So Munich is considered the safe first city in Germany. And I think also one of the safest in general. Um, I personally have never experienced a problem. Um, even if you come home, you can come home alone at night. Uh, there is no problem with it. There are, of course, there are things that you can think by yourself, like you would avoid a street that is darker or you would avoid a street where homeless people are staying, these are in every city, but in general, Munich is the safest city in Germany and I have never felt anything that is unsafe. Okay, that's yeah. what I was wondering. Uh, I, 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 like also yeah, yeah. I also agree with that because uh, um, I, as a boy, I can say that uh, we were roaming on, around the city, around it. 2 a.m., 3 a.m., and uh, we don't have any fear in our mind that somebody is going to hurt us. And people in Munich are usually very good. They are very friendly. Uh, they always smile. I don't know why. <laughs> but whenever you ask questions to someone, they are, I have seen everybody is giving me answers with a smile. So there are good people, and there are good and bad people in every society. But I would say the, the quantity of bad people is very much less in Munich specifically. There, are, there is some racism in other cities, but uh, uh, I believe that uh, Munich is the safest and 
you need to just check in Google if you get admission and you are going to any specific city. But I can assure Munich is the safest. Okay, so there is another question from Amir. Is there any semester exchange program for bachelor's degree? There's any, what was it? Semester exchange. exchange program. Like uh, you go for semester, you are from Pakistan and you go for semester in Germany for just for a semester, not for a whole bachelor's. That you should check with the university where are you are currently enrolled. If your university has a partnership with a university in Germany, yes. But usually your university should provide you with this information. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I want to add that you can also visit the website Higher Education Commission, HEC Pakistan. Uh, there are a lot of opportunities present for students who want to do semester exchange. So you, you must visit the website as I mentioned earlier. OK, so uh, there's another question. There's a, like I would like to end it here. There's just one last question I would like to you guys to answer that does it matter if one chooses technical university or applied sciences because i've heard who is who want to do the phd shall only opt for technical universities and what is the scope of research students in the country yes mrs uh, miss uh, mr afan have asked this question i can answer the second part of it with the research um TUM itself is a public research institute, and I think in general, um, research is a really big uh, topic in Germany. And a lot of people that I know um, do a PhD afterwards, and PhD seems to be uh, what differentiates you from the masses. And of course, you will have later on a better salary. So there is a focus on research, I'd say, in Germany. And I can't say the number in overall Ger Germany, how much, uh, how much percentage or so, um, but it, research is really appreciated. And um, there are a lot of people who choose that as their profession. OK, uh, what was your first question that, is there any difference between technical universities and applied? Yeah, science? because uh, he was asking basically that, just a minute, I will get the question which was exactly asked. Um, yeah, so does it matter if one chooses technical university or applied sciences? Because I've heard those who want to do PhD shall only opt for technical universities. Uh, I don't have knowledge about this specifically, so I think I might not mislead him, yeah. but I surely get back to it. Yeah, you can search basically search on the website. You search, you know, just one click on just one uh, line on Google and it will give you all the information regarding that. So you can basically search on Google. Google is the information. But if you're more likely wanting a personal in, you know, personal opinion of a person, then you can ask here. So, OK, that's it. Cause session has been accented way too much because you know, it was so interesting and so much information was there and so much excitement and fun and just it just was amazing that we didn't like we didn't show like stop the session. Time has been over. Time has been over. So those who have been patiently, we are grateful for that. We are grateful to all of our both of our guest speakers that you have put your hundred person uh, trying to explain all about studying in Germany studying in Munich and whatever we have to do, what processing we have to do. You took your precious time. We are so honored. We are so grateful that to have you on your board. Um, so that's where we would like to end. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much and wish all the candidates and students a very best of luck for their future endeavors. Thank you. And so we will. Yeah. We would definitely like to have you guys both for another webinars as well. And Genesoc would like to have you on board, stay connected with you for other webinars in the future and uh, for other topics. So we would like to interact with you and have another webinar as well.
Okay. Uh, is yes. there any feedback form? Yeah, Casey, you were speaking something. Yeah, okay. I think Mohamed also said if there is a feedback form at the end of the webinar. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All of the uh, participants who are present have to fill. There's a link in the chat box. You have to fill the feedback form so that you can have uh, the uh, certificates and all the information about this recordings and links and you know the all PDFs that all of the things you want. But in case you don't get the recording, so we have our YouTube channel with Engineer Start. A recording are uploaded every week on there, so you can just go there and watch the recording if you want. And certificate will be due, uh, will be uh, delivered to you after two to three weeks. So please wait patiently. And thank you for attending this amazing session. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And the students can always reach in LinkedIn. Um, and I'm pretty sure that we can answer the rest of the questions. Okay. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. We are so grateful to have you guys on board. It was an amazing session. I personally learned a lot about Germany and all those applications for you. Okay, thank, thank you for you. inviting us. Okay, so if you want to leave the webinar, now you guys are allowed to leave the webinar after you fill the response form. Make sure to fill the response form if you want to get your certificates, guys. Okay, Harshan, check if the link is there. That uh, response link is there. Can you upload it again in the chat box? Okay, so personally, Casey, how is your experience going? Is uh, being a part of a, a student in Germany, like how has life been going? How's your experience? Yeah. Life is going really good, actually. Um, for me, coming here, it really opened up a lot of opportunities. Um, for example, I, I went to China with a project um, that I was working on for two weeks and everything was funded from the university. I, then I did my exchange in Israel um, and now I'm part of this honors degree program. Um, so there are just so many opportunities. Sometimes I feel like there are too many when you want to apply for all. Um, so I don't know, for me, I think that if you really are ambitious and want to do things here, you can really, um, you have all opportunities. You don't have to um, struggle to find them. You just need to struggle to get them <laughs> or like to fight to get them uh, because um, the students are very smart, very ambitious and it's always a competition, uh, but there are a lot of opportunities. So for everyone, um, everyone could find something. So yeah, in general, um, I am really happy and satisfied I'm here and uh, I plan to live here long-term. Oh, wow. Okay, amazing. So Zishan, if you would like to add something, because if you guys want to leave, you're free to leave. Like there is no restriction. I'm just talking it out because it's interesting to talk to you guys. But if you guys want to leave, if you have your schedule busy, and if you want to just uh, leave in, you can. You are free to go. Okay. And if you want to stay, I would like to talk to you as well. No problem. Okay. Yeah, I just want to add, uh, I have some good and bad, bad experiences because when I came here, Corona was it, it peak, so the university was closed and still uh, closed. So uh, I have faced a lot of problems. Uh, I don't interact with people, uh, especially the international people. So the university is now going to be offline once again from the next semester, so I believe uh, I'll be getting more of it from the next semester. Okay, yeah, this is something actually um, yeah. I can imagine for the people who joined during Corona that it has been difficult. 
because you yeah. know it, it's a hard time for all of us there's so many like uh, there's so many problems because you know university just didn't close their job opportunities problem like people are facing people lose their jobs and in overcome overnight the competition comes internationally because you are not now competing with the people around you but because the work have been transferred to online so you have to compete with all of the people around the world because there are so many talented people and you have to compete with all of them so that's why people lose jobs people gain jobs some people become rich some people become poor and broke literally so yeah it is the first time and you know we are social animals we need interaction we need some kind of like human interaction and if we don't get it we are like what is happening what is happening what we are doing we need to get the interaction with the people so yeah it's it's kind of sad we hope that just corona just ends in everything comes back to the normal okay, okay uh thank you so much for inviting us and i have some work to do yeah yeah so, it was so much of a pleasure to have you guys on board thank you so much okay. Sam. Thank, thank you, you. Allah awesome. thank you Bye-bye. Okay, so for those who are still present, you guys can leave the meeting. If you have filled the response form, it is not necessary to be here. You know, just meeting just and you just need to fill the response form present in the chat box. Thank you so much. We are so glad that you have attended.